Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. So I'm going to do a love read for you and see what pops up in the cards. Angel Spirits Guides, please show us love for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Love for Aries. What do they need to see? King of Swords again. Your, this is coming up as your challenge. It could be somebody with air in their chart. They could be very no-nonsense. This is like an energy that is tough. This is like, I don't want to argue. The words that you're saying are hurtful. Um, you know. Wow. There's someone here who is kind of in their shadow side of the self. Like they're, they've, there's some kind of negative situation here. It could be a Capricorn. Um, somebody is cutting off communication. They're saying no. But then they do have a new development. Like they have a new beginning. Um, somebody is making an intentional choice to cut off someone that they don't want to speak to anymore. The challenge is that this is the ending of this. Um, and it offers a new beginning, though, with the Ace of Coin and the Queen. It's a mature energy. There's new happiness. There's new developments. So this could be like saying you're not going to talk to somebody anymore that you don't like talking to. Or that just always brings drama into your life. Mm-hmm. Two smart people, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, could be two people who are very business minded, very logical, very smart, but not a lot of emotion. But there is something here coming in where there's a new feeling and a new happiness for, for you. Oh wow, we have the victory, the card of getting attention. You know, getting seen and recognized, having victories and wins. Um, okay, I like that. So, it could also be somebody's getting a lot of attention from other people. What's the outcome? I kid you not, this is the outcome. The Seven of Coin and the Nine of Cups. Something that you've been waiting for is arriving. Something you invested time in and you haven't heard anything back. There could be somebody who's thinking about you, thinking about the time that they invested in getting to know you. There is this celebratory energy um, surrounding this new development. So something is new. There's the ending of a painful cycle. This toxic energy is in the past. And there's this new Ace of Coin, Ace of Cups, powerful new beginnings. Like I've said before, these are celestial beginnings, angelic. Um, this energy of like, somebody is feeling like amazing. They have a lot of confidence in themselves. It's like the feeling of a hero. So, you have a new development that is real with powerful new feelings here, and there could be a Capricorn involved in this situation. The challenge is Ten of Swords, the ending of a situation. Underlying energy is Four of Swords. Somebody isn't speaking to someone, or they're taking a break from talking to someone. Um, So show us one here for Aries and their love life. Show us Aries, the main female. Show us Aries and their love life. The coffin. So something is closing out a cycle. Whether you're saying no or someone else is saying no, they're just, it's ending the cycle. Some people could be breaking up with a very toxic person. We have a privileged lady. Okay. There could have been a person of privilege in this situation. We have an occupation. 
somebody's working really hard at their job as well. Um, it could be somebody, someone, someone, a person new, either you knew or someone else knew at work. Unexpected income is coming in. Very nice. Show us what else for Aries. Courthouse. Some of you are getting a legal settlement, a payment, something coming from your relationship where there's the decision to pay you something. Oh, wow. Wealthy man. Okay, so somebody can afford to do this. Somebody can afford to pay you. They can afford to settle. They can afford, afford it. All right. I like that. Ooh, underlying energy is a thief. Maybe somebody did you wrong. They took something of value from you. They didn't pay you back. High honor, sudden wealth. Ooh, this is cool. What you don't see is that possibly somebody did something incorrectly. It might not be that they intentionally took it from you. Maybe somebody accidentally took something from you of value, and so you're going to get it back. Um... Okay, I don't want to like right away say that there's a person here doing you wrong. It mostly looks like there's a decision you're making to be very firm about your boundaries of who you're going to talk to and allow into your space if they are a negative person. Like if they're real negative in some way, like you don't want that energy around you for some reason. Well, not for some reason. It's because you're living your best life you're doing well, you're feeling good, and you know, you, you feel confident in yourself. But there is something here about receiving a benefit, and there is something here that closes out a cycle with the coffin. It doesn't necessarily mean like somebody passes away. It just means like that there's the closure or the ending of a cycle, like the closing of a court situation, the ending of a divorce, settlement, will, what have you, um, legal matter, um, something was definitely wrong in this situation with the devil and the four of swords though. It was painful, it was oppressive, it was restrictive, it took away your freedom in some manner, like, you didn't have, like, the full ability to be yourself. So, you made a change. And now, privileged lady, unexpected income, courthouse, wealthy man. Um, so I maybe it's back pay for some of you. I'm getting back pay, but this is supposed to be love. <laughs> so um, definitely new developments. Ace of coin is Taurus. Ace of cups is Scorpio. So you have a new solid beginning. And the pain is in the past here. You're feeling really good about yourself. So I'll leave it at that, Aries. Thank you for watching your love reading and take care.